What is this thing? You've probably seen this eye in a bunch of conspiracy theories and Masonic references. It's the same eye that you see on the back of the dollar bill, and it's even part of the Great Seal of the United States. No, not there. It's actually on the other side. That's right, the seal has two sides. But this symbol's meaning and creation actually has nothing to do with any of that. This is known as the Eye of Providence, and it first popped up during the Renaissance. It shows an eye often surrounded by rays of light and closed by a triangle. Artists use this to represent the all-seeing eye of God. The three points of the triangle represent the Christian mythology of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The rays of light are stand-ins for holiness and divinity. This painting is one of the first known appearances of the Eye of Providence, way back in 1525. If you go back even further in history, you can find an eye being used in ancient Egyptian times, but it's not exactly the same thing. For example, the Eye of Horus belongs to Horus the Sky God, who's often depicted as a falcon. So it's a falcon's eye. Fast forward to the founding of the United States, and it ended up on the back of the Great Seal on top of a pyramid. Why? The pyramid is a sign of strength and of survival, of being long lasting. And that's designed to show that the new nation is going to survive, is going to last a long time. And it's built on 13 different steps, meaning the 13 new states, the 13 former colonies. It was a few years after that that the Freemasons started using the eye for themselves. Some think it was the Masons' way of projecting their own watchful power, but it's actually the opposite. I think the all-seeing eye of God for Freemasons was designed to be a message to themselves, to say, we are being watched over, and therefore we need to live up to the standards of, you know, not only religion, but also of Freemasonry. So the Freemasons were reminding themselves to keep their own strict moral standards, not push their values on the general public. Of course, other conspiracies say the eye and the seal of the United States and on the dollar bill mean that the government is always watching us. But again, its real meaning goes back to a higher power. It's supposed to represent America being watched over by God, America um, having, being, having been created underneath God's sort of watchful eye. So how did this symbol get so tarnished? Why is it tangled in the web of so many conspiracy theories? Well, symbols are easy for people to digest. They're easy on the brain. You know, whereas data and evidence is much tougher for us, we have to digest it and think about it and come to new conclusions. Symbols can be very powerful. Here's the symbol, it's on the dollar bill. You can, you can attach a picture to it. And it's much easier to do that than it is to say, well, listen, we have free markets and we have democracy and both of those things are incredibly messy and no one's really controlling it. But if I can give you a few symbols, you know, and if, attach some names to it, all of a sudden you have an evil villain that you can, you can pin the blame on. Okay, but throughout history, it's clear, evil villains do exist. Is it really such a stretch to believe that others like them might be using symbols to signal their secret intentions? So there are all sorts of things that people see that they believe are clues put out there. Um, so the dollar bill, the way the roads are made in Washington, D.C., there's a painting in the, in the airport in Colorado that people think, you know, is really an Illuminati base. People think that there's secret messages in the movies and the music. The truth is that if you're pulling off a grand conspiracy, the idea is that you want to do this in secret. You don't want to be caught. You're not going to put out clues. So it doesn't make sense. I mean, none of it makes sense. So instead of signifying an all-seeing power that watches over all of us and hints to greater and more sinister plans ahead, maybe a simpler explanation is true. It's just a symbol. 